our platform stands by itself. We are not worried about more or, or, or less contestants. Uh, in, in other countries, sometimes you get uh, 18 cornered fights, but there they call it democracy. They don't call it uh, uh, multi-cornered fights. Reform Party will still contest the Pongal East by election. The opposition party also unveiled its candidate, party chief Kenneth J. Rettnam. Mr. J. Rettnam said this outside Rivervale Plaza on Tuesday, hours after Singapore Democratic Party announced they were pulling out of the by-election. Meanwhile, Singapore Democratic Alliance's candidate Desmond Lim said on Tuesday that he will still run, despite receiving intimidating phone calls requesting that he withdraw. The Reform Party told reporters that they have not received such calls. So you have not received uh, calls from anybody asking you to pull out? Uh, no. We have been on a walkabout, uh, on, on a few blocks, and the reception has been very warm, and I don't think there should be any problem. And um, they have received us, uh, received us warmly, and some even come to openly support us, uh, like uh, all our centres, uh, saying that uh, we are the ones who should be contesting and, and, and um, offering these voters a uh, good choice of candidates. So I, I don't think there should be any problem of backlash or anything. I won't be saying that it's very good, but people have requested our party to com compete. Mr J. Ratnam said that the Reform Party will campaign on national issues. Uh, the fact that um, incomes are falling behind... Uh, prices and uh, we are in a prime location, we are at the crossroads, the world's crossroads, uh, why aren't we uh, wealthier as a people, as individual citizens? When asked by reporters what issues his party would address, Mr J. Ratnam said the most pressing issue for him was the half-completed Rivervale Plaza. Renovations of which stopped abruptly last October, resulting in a decline in business for the mall's tenants. We were here on the 15th of and 17th of December, and uh, after that, um, when I, after I tweeted that the place looked like a bomb site, uh, the DPM said that um, uh, that they were going to be appointed a new contractor and that they were going to finish the work in four months. So we have had a bigger effect than all the candidates, uh, all the other candidates. The 53-year-old son of late renowned opposition politician J.B. J. Ratnam studied and worked abroad in various countries for more than two decades, with seven years spent studying in the United Kingdom. But he said that he can still relate to heartlanders. Nobody asked um, Gandhi whether he grew up in South Africa. <laughs> and, uh, you yeah, know, so, so not, that I'm, not that I'm Gandhi, of course. Stay tuned to Razor TV for more on the Pongal East by election.